Secondary alveolar bone grafting for a cleft palate patient is done at 4 to 5 years, 6 to 15 years, 21 to 25 years or 25 to 30 years. Now bone grafting can be classified depending upon the timing. Okay, So it is classified into primary bone grafting and secondary bone grafting. Now the secondary bone grafting can be further classified into early, intermediate and late. The primary bone graft is the one that is usually carried out along with a lip repair surgery. So in case a patient had a complete cleft of the lip as well as the palate, so we know that lip repair is usually done at an earlier age to get a proper oral seal. Right, So then cleft repair is done at this time along with alveolar bone grafting. This alveolar bone grafting is known as the primary alveolar bone graft. Okay, So the timing is usually the first three months of life to two and a half years of age. Okay, So anytime it is done early, that is during lip repair, it is known as a primary alveolar bone graft. If uh, the bone grafting is done after this age, okay, that is performed after the lip repair then it is known as secondary or delayed alveolar bone grafting. Okay, So, after lip repair is secondary. Now, this again can be early, intermediate or late. Early bone graft is usually done at 2 to 5 years of age. Okay, So, the type of dentition we will see during this age will be the primary dentition. Okay, The intermediate is seen between 6 to 15 years. So, here we will see a type of mixed dentition. And the late secondary alveolar bone grafting is done after 16 years of age, any way till adulthood. Okay, so this is during the permanent dentition. Okay, now between all of the types of bone grafting, the intermediate bone grafting is the one that is the most commonly done or most routinely done and the most successful. Now, whenever al uh, primary alveolar bone grafting is done, it has been seen in the studies that it has resulted in scar formation which hampers the growth of the maxilla in both the transverse as well as the sagittal dimensions. Okay, So, this results in the patient having a class 3 profile with a retrognathic type of a maxilla. Okay, So, this is why the primary type of alveolar bone grafting has been discontinued. Now, the most common uh, procedure is to do an intermediate secondary bone grafting that is between 6 to 15 years of age. So, why is this done is because we follow more of the dental development rather than the chronological age. Okay, So, ideally the secondary alveolar bone grafting should usually be carried out whenever the permanent canine root, okay, that is permanent canine root is either half to two third completed okay when a when a uh, uh, tooth root formation is half to two-third completed we can predict that it is going to erupt okay so we know it is close to its eruption timing okay so this is the time when we will uh, uh, do the secondary alveolar bone grafting especially during 8 to 11 years of age because that is the time when the canine is going to complete half to two-third root completion Okay, now this is done so that it improves the prognosis of the canine because we want the canine or any tooth which is next to the cleft side to erupt through the bone graft. Okay, so this is going to improve the periodontal support and it is going to in, uh, increase the success rate of the graft itself. Okay, so usually the timing depends upon the dental development and not the chronological age. That is why there is such a wide age range that is given for secondary bone grafting. Okay, now on an average, it is usually the canine which is uh, adjusting to the cleft site. However, if there is a lateral incisor which has not yet erupted and uh, the, the secondary bone grafting can help with the prognosis of the lateral incisor, okay, then we can do the bone grafting earlier than 8 to 11 years. Okay, so an earlier bone grafting can also be done around 6 to 7 years of age to improve the prognosis of the lateral incisor. Okay, if the cleft is adjusting to the lateral incisor and we want the lateral incisor to erupt through the bone graft. So, these are some of the features which are important to know uh, before we uh, plan for a bone graft procedure. Okay. Now, what are the uh, some of the benefits of doing a bone grafting is that firstly, the bone graft is going to provide support right, for the uh, unerupted tooth because we want the tooth to erupt through the bone graft. So, it is going to provide support. Okay, It is going to provide closure of the oronasal fistula. 
Okay, so the oro nasal fistula, which can sometimes be present because of the cleft palate. So this will help to close that. Okay, it will also support and elevate the alar bases of the nose. Okay, alar base support. Okay, and it is also going to help achieve a continuous arch form because as we know, whenever there is a cleft present, there is going to be a uh, interruption in the continuity of the arch. Right. So by placing a bone graft, we can get a more continuous type of an arch form. Okay. And also it helps to achieve some sort of stabilization of the premaxilla, especially in those patients who have a bilateral cleft lip and palate. So in those situations, the premaxilla is usually uh, placed more uh, ahead or it is uh, more prognatic, right? So, by doing a secondary alveolar bone grafting, we achieve some amount of stabilization for this premaxilla. Okay, so these are some of the benefits of doing secondary alveolar bone grafting. So, if we come back to the question here, we were asked the age and here they have not mentioned whether the secondary alveolar bone grafting is uh, early, intermediate or late. But looking at the options, okay, we can see that 6 to 15 years is the one that fits best, right? Because all of this is going to be late and this is going to be early. So, the secondary alveolar bone grafting is done at, so the most common time is to do it during the intermediate secondary alveolar bone grafting that is between 6 to 15 years of age.